Paul is a very personal poem about Heaney's relationship with his father. It opens with a very familiar scene where the son, or Heaney, calls his father, who just happens to be outside meeting in the garden. We're then introduced to an uninformed she that really gives the reader that sense that we're eavesdropping on a personal conversation. But the tone at the beginning of this poem is very conversational and realistic and kind of describes the mundane moment that is happening as well. But while Heaney is waiting for his father to come to the phone, he starts imagining what he's doing in the garden. And he does this in great detail. So he's down on his hands and knees, he's touching and inspecting and separating one stalk from another. We get a sense that he's a very gentle individual where he is sorry or rueful about destroying the weeds, despite the necessity to remove them at the same time. But then we are transported then and we leave the back garden and come into this deserted hallway. And the tone of the stage changes drastically, so the poem becomes a lot more emotional. And Heaney starts thinking about the sounds in the hallway, and they're very much amplified, they're putting forward the quietness of the location. And he starts thinking about, in particular, the grave ticking of the clock, which alludes to that theme of death. But Heaney understands that his father is becoming frail, and he starts to think about how and when death will call for his father. And he starts depicting death as a personal phone call, just like one you might receive from a loved one. But the last few lines of the poem are most vivid, where he quotes, and I nearly said I love him, after he and his father picks up the phone. So he's obviously delighted to hear his father's voice, but that last line can mean a number of things. So it can mean either a lack of communication, or rather a suggestion that the feelings of love don't have to be expressed through words, that these feelings instead can be expressed through different modes and different ways as well. But again, if you are a teacher and would like to bring your students to Shame Heaney Listen Now again, why not email heaneyexhibition at nli.ie and we will be delighted to welcome you. But join us next week for our next instalment where we will focus on the pitchfork.